Hello, everybody, and welcome to your last and final Allegro 5 tutorial. We've done 39 tutorials for, so far, and this is the final one. And don't be disappointed because the Allegro plat uh, the platformer series is coming back. Uh, for those of you who watch the Allegro platformer series, I'm coming back with an advanced one, uh, better sound, uh, better code, more better improved code, uh, more improved code, Every everything is going to be better. Uh, they we're actually going to use real sprites and everything this time. It's going to be, it's going to be really cool with power-ups and everything. Anyways, <clears throat> let's get started. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn about deploying our programs or, or like distributing our programs, whichever one you like to call it. Now, uh, for visuals, if you have the full version of Visual Studio, uh, they have a built-in, uh, I think it's install shield or other types of um, ways to deploy your program. I'm not going to get into that because most of my viewers either use Coblox, DevC++, or, or Visual C++ Express, right? So I'm not going to get into how to do that with Visual Studio. So I'm going to be showing you the free way on how to do it. So, what we need to do, first of all, is, let me move this up. Okay, we need to go to projects and our project name. Now, before, if we go to linker and input, before we uh, linked against the, the debug version, what we need to do is we need to just erase the MD debug and change that to mt.lib. So, Allegro your version dash monolith dash mt dot lib Okay, and you just want to click OK and then what we want to do is we want to go to the C++ tab go to code generation and change this to uh, multi-threaded and Just click apply and okay So uh, once we've done that then we need to rebuild our program or recompile it Okay, uh, so whatever. Okay, so it's done. So now we have the new version of that. Okay, so these are the files. So since you've done that, since we have the MT version of it, if you guys, if you watch my uh, SFML or or like my Allegro HD and stuff, distributing your files, uh, we need it before we need the MSVCR 100, uh, th those type of files. Once we link to the, the the MT, all we need is the uh, the DLL file that corresponds with that library. So since uh, we're using Allegro 5, uh, your version dash monolith dot MT, then all we need to include is that DLL in our project folder, and that's it. So what we're gonna do is you can pause the video to download this or whatever but uh, if you guys might find this a bit extra you know what i mean to um to package your file and have an installer just for a simple allegro game but like for me when i have a game that's polished and i can send to people and you have an installer uh it just gives a sense of professionalism and and gives it a sense of like you will come something great even if it's something really small uh, but if you guys think it's through the roof or extra, it's up to you. Uh, but I'm going to be showing you which files to package into it anyway. So then might as well continue watching this. So once you have advanced installer installed, uh, then what you're going to want to do is you get the uh, like the professional edition or whatever 30 days, but I'm not going to be doing that. So we're just going to go to simple. And once you click simple, uh, there's a lot of different options that we can choose from. So, uh, first uh, is our application name. So, I'll uh, just name it Coding Made Easy Tutorials. And the product version, your company, I'll just say Coding Made Easy, uh, URL, etc., etc. Stop parameters. Uh, if you want to be 32 bit, 64 bit, I leave it as 32 bit or whatever. So, uh, people with 64 bit or 34 bit machines can use it. Uh, you can uh, for fast installation for down here. I would. Uh, oh yeah, you can't check mark that, but you can check mark the uh, these things if you want to speed up the installation. For upgrades, you can set how it upgrades, etc., etc. Uh, and 
launch conditions burn modules okay but forget that so we're gonna go to our file folder so this is the folder where it's gonna it's gonna end up being at okay so if we go to what we need to do is we need to go to files okay so if we go to our our project where we made our project so for those of you who are using like code blocks whatever just go to the exe file where the where the bin or the debug like wherever your exe file is if it's in your bin folder your debug folder whatever uh just make sure you get that exe file so i'm mine's in c plus plus projects learning a lego 5 mine's in debug and i have my exe file right here so what we're gonna do is double click that so we see our exe file right there now the only other files we need is the images that we use in our program or are there folders with images or whatever in our program so and then we just need the dll file so i'm going to add the dll file for those of you who just want to just get it over with and done so if we go we need to go where we installed visual studio okay so we installed visual studio well i installed into my d drive visual studio whatever and if you don't know what this is just remember where you uh wherever you put the wherever you put your DLL files or whatever when you put your include your lib files and your bin files when you install the lego 5 that's a folder you want to go to so if you're using code blocks in the mingw folder or wherever you install that that's where you want to go and if you put your bin files in your system 32 or whatever syswow 64 you can go to that as well so we want to go to vc for using visual studio or whatever and we want to go to the bin folder so I'm going to scroll down until I see right, uh, no, 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 that's not it. Uh, so, right here, Allegro 5.0.7 Monolith MT. So, whichever version you're using, whichever one you linked it in, we need the DLL. Even though we link with the library, we need the DLL file associated with it. Okay? Okay, so once we do that, uh, we just double click that to add it there. Okay, so we've added it there. So the only thing we need is just the resources or the files or whatever we use. So if we use a map file, whatever. But we need it the same way as we have in our program. So for example, say you in your program you have a sprites folder or whatever, and you get a sprite from the sprites folder. Uh, then you're gonna have to add that folder within here. You can't just drag the sprites into there because there's, there's gonna be a, you're gonna run the error when you try to run it. So if you need to add a folder, uh, just go to folder, just click folder, uh, go to where your project is, and uh, I don't have any. Well, I have a sprites folder, but I don't. Ha well, whatever. So I'm gonna select the folder. So whenever I select the folder, everything within that folder will come into right here, right? All the sprites, everything I need will come into that folder. Okay, but for this program, this program I have right here, uh, this file requires um, a different image, not in the folder. So I'm going to go back to C projects, uh, learning Lego 5, and uh, this is the image that I need right here. So player image 1. Okay, so once you've done that, everything is set. Now you have an application shortcut folder, so you can make a shortcut. You say shortcut two, and you can click your application. The thing about that is that uh, it will create a folder for you or something, your your own personal folder for you in the start menu. If you want to make your own program, uh, your own folder name in the start menu, then you're going to want to do this. Go to start menu, go to programs, and click new folder, and click regular. And for me, I'd put coding made easy, so I people know it's a coding made easy production. And within that folder, then you click shortcut, and you click the exe and click OK. And you can do anything you want with this, but I'll just click OK, and the shortcut is right there. And you can change the name of it. Like it says short. Well, I think it will just show the project name there. Learning exe, learning Lego exe. I'm not really sure, but yeah. If you have the application shortcut folder and this, I believe it will make two uh, folders on the start menu, which is probably not what you want. So it's either it's either or either either or whichever one you want to do. So once we've done that, then uh, we're almost done. So we if we go to dialogs, these are the different pages that it, it goes through uh, when 
when, I, when we're loading it when we're going to install it so it goes to the welcome dialog you see what it shows on the welcome screen uh, choose a folder verify uh, that shows a progress and the exit so we want to go to the exit dialog and uh, okay I'm gonna make this a big screen so at towards the bottom of the screen right here okay we see some things that you can show a readme option so if you uh, if you have a readme file that you want people to read then you can do that as well or uh, you can say that you can launch at the end of the app uh, launch at the end of the installation etc etc right so uh, you can say that you can run this action without displaying the dialogue it's up to you uh, but launch application at it and I'll select the exe file click OK so yeah so once we once once we're done that, what we want to do is that we want to go to our home tab at the top right here. Click our home tab, and what we want to do is you can either build it or run it. Uh, I'm just gonna build it for now, and I'm going to build it in the project folder just because my desktop is like it's, it's packed with a whole bunch of stuff. So I'll build it right here, and I'll name it. I'll name it setup. Okay, so if we go to our project folder and I go to D, uh, C++ projects, learning Lego 5. So right here, this is, for, uh, this is to open up, to reopen up your installation project. And this is the setup files, okay? So you see the setup files right here? That's what you want to click. Not the setup cache, the setup files. So this is what you send to people. This is the file you send to people, and that's what how they can run your installer. So you can run this installer, and that's what happens if you click run. If you click run up there, it will run the installer for you after it builds it. So you can see what happens next. You can choose where you want to save it. Uh, click install. Uh, ask for whatever administrator rights or whatever. And then you can click to launch it. And click finish and then you see your program has officially launched okay so yeah that is that is it for this tutorial and just to show you quickly uh, showing it to you in the start menu so if I go right here I go to all programs if you see it right here in coding made easy click right there uh, it was well, a shortcut to learning uh, whatever but you could have changed that in the program but you could change to say whatever you want and you could change the image uh, you probably can change the image uh, that shows up there as well uh, so that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and uh, bye